Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Five to seven years. For the most part pressed flowers are able to maintain their natural color for a very long time, but eventually some amount of fading is inevitable, typically after five to seven years on average. Some may begin to show fading sooner, while others may last longer. Take our lead. Now you'll need some scrap cardboard and absorbent paper, such as parchment. You'll use them to layer the flowers in the press. Cut the cardboard and parchment paper slightly smaller than the boards. Substitute tissue paper, blotting paper, newsprint or smooth coffee filters for the parchment, if desired. Let's help you make your mark. Flowers that press best since pressing blossoms is a way of drying them, flowers that contain less moisture when fresh dry quicker, whereas the thick and fleshy petals of impatiens and begonias will become moldy after a few weeks in a flower press. Take our lead. Keep the pressed flowers evenly weighted by placing more books, or a cinder block, on top of the pressed flower book. In two to three weeks, carefully open the book and remove your dried, pressed flowers. Point one four May 2018. Let's help you make your mark. Don't pick your flowers too early in the morning, as they will still have dew on them. The extra moisture from the dew may cause them to go moldy during the pressing process. Flowers should have just bloomed or be about to bloom. If they are too mature, they will lose their petals. Point two two May 2017. Make your mark, take our lead. Dried florals last around one to three years. A general rule of thumb, the moister the room they are kept in, the shorter their lifespan. For that reason, avoid placing them in the bathroom or in the kitchen. Dried florals kept in a sealed casing can last for more than 10 years. Point two zero May 2020. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.